Alice, I wanted to ask you about Xavier Depp here. Uh, have you seen him step up his game this, this spring so far? What do you think? Yeah, Xavier stepped up for sure. Uh, you know, he's really battled, uh, especially after you know his misfortune last year. Uh, you know, I think the positive attitude he has uh, had has been uh, really great to see, and uh, I'm glad it's finally paying off for him. And you know, so far he's been doing a great job for us at center. Really stepped up. Where do you think he's improved the most? Uh, you know, for Xavier, you know, he's pretty strong. He's pretty fast. Uh, but for him, it, it's kind of been on the mental side. So he's really come along uh, mentally as a player, uh, really gotten his calls down, done a good job of uh, helping direct the unit. So uh, that's where I'd say I've seen the biggest improvement. No, for, for that guy, too, at center, you have to kind of take over. Has he done a better job of being the more vocal kind of guy, too? Yeah, and uh, the great thing with Coach Hand is uh, he lets all of us you know, help him with the calls. So you know, when you're a center, you might not be able to see – you know, the defensive end, the Sam linebacker on the outside, that's where, you know, the left tackle, the right tackle, or even me can help him and uh, give him the info so we're all on the same page and, uh, you know, we get ready to go. Just, just talk about the transition. You've had almost a full spring now under mm -hmm. Coach Hand. How has that gone, and, and what, do you, what do you feel like the offensive line has improved the most? Yeah, I think it's gone, uh, I think it's gone very well. I think we've uh, improved our pass protection a lot, uh, which was, I'd say, one of our weak points last year, and we really mm -hmm. focused on that. So, uh, you know, we're passing off the twists and, uh, you know, getting better at that uh, pass protection. Is it, I mean, you, you were already playing beside Austin before he moved to center <coughs> tackle. So is there really any difference? You're already used to playing beside him, or is it different because he's on a different side of you now? Uh, left tackles are left tackles, mm -hmm. so it's not too much different for me. My biggest thing is helping Austin, you know, learn the nuances of left tackle. You know, on this play, maybe there's a – point that he doesn't necessarily know because he's only been at center. So I can help him out say, hey, heads up, look for this. You know, we get it done, bang, and next time he knows it, we just move on. We talked about the pass protection last year. Is that a communication issue or, or a physical issue? Uh, I'd say it was both. You know, uh, a couple times guys got flat out beat, and a couple times, uh, you know, we got some good, highly paid D coordinators in this league, so they schemed us up. So, uh, yeah, I'd, I'd say it's both, but I think uh, as a whole, we're, we've really worked on improving that. How good do you think Austin can be at left tackle? Yeah, I think Austin can be as good as he wants to be. Uh, before he transferred for Ole Miss, he was going to start at uh, right tackle uh, as a true sophomore. So for him, you know, he's athletic enough to do it. You know, he's just got to work on his kick slides, you know, work on handling those speed rushers, because that's I'd say that's the biggest difference between tackle and interior. You get some of those lanky guys that you don't necessarily see when you're on the inside messing with the war daddies. I know there was a lot of discussion last year about your stamina and your split snaps there. I'm sure you're 100% now. Do you feel like you're back up to where you wanted to be and left the season off in 2013? Yeah, I think so. Uh, I'm really getting better at my pass protection, which has been a big deal for me. And then in the run game, you know, as I continue to work in the weight room and get stronger, yeah, I can do pretty much all the stuff I want to do. So. For me, it's just getting all those reps, getting my body used to it. And, you know, this whole spring I've taken almost, I think, every rep at Orange Team left guard. So getting all those reps and getting all those looks has been uh, great for me. What have you learned in this short period of time under hurt pain? Uh, biggest thing I've learned under Coach Hand is, uh, you know, just being a, being a good person and helping your teammates around you. Uh, one thing's, you know, that I try to learn this spring is, you know, bring the guys in the back of the room up with me. So, you know, help those freshmen, help those guys develop their game. So that way, if someone does go down like I did, you know, the next guy's ready to go and, you know, we don't miss a beat. Is he good for you yet? The guys yet? Not yet. He keeps uh, talking about his brisket. So I'm excited to try it. What have you seen out of those young guys? Obviously, Markel is a guy that, that's kind of doing some things behind you. What have you seen out of that next group? Yeah, Markel is a very uh, powerful run blocker. You know, for him, it's just getting flexible and uh, getting his feet under him. You know, I think once he uh, gets all that stuff done, he's going to take off. Uh, Mike Horton's been doing very well. And then, you know, we're trying to bring along, you know, Darius and uh, Bailey and uh, Tyler Carr and Caleb Kim and the rest of the unit. <coughs> What about, uh, what about Braden, um, now that he's kind of settled in there at guard? Mike said, hey, that, that guy's been dominating. What have you seen out of, out of Braden this spring? Yeah, Braden's a very athletic uh, – he's an athlete, so, you know, he can do some things that the rest of us kind of can't do. So you see him on plays sometimes, you know, do some 
you know, you don't really see that much. So Braden, you know, continues to get better, and he knows all of it mentally now, so he can just play. Alex, I mean, you go against them every day. I mean, how, how good does this defensive line look compared to the, the years past when you've gone up against them in practice? You know, I think uh, it's probably it, it might be our deepest unit since I've been here. Uh, we've got, you know, Carl obviously uh, is great pass rusher, great leader for him. Uh, Cowart's really improved, especially from last fall. Uh, D tackles, you know, Mons, you know, a freaky athlete. Dontavius is always solid, uh, using good technique and you know knows all that stuff. Um, Marlon Davidson has really impressed me. Uh, I've been here for five years, and as far as freshmen coming in ready to play, uh, especially coming in spring, he's as good as you know I've seen. Marlon Davidson's really impressed me, but you know he's got to keep working, you know keep improving. But uh, he's solid. I think he's ready to play. Uh, and, you know, and then you have uh, Swain. He's a solid player. Uh, bring, around, bring along Paul James. Yeah, I'm sure I'm forgetting two or three. There's like ten of them. But uh, you know. That's they're deep. Yeah, they're deep. You know, I, th I think the D-line's going to be ready to play and uh, excited to see them uh, this season. What you said about Marlon, do you mean any early enrollee in any position or just specifically D-line? Uh, D-line, he's been working D-tackle. Yeah, D-tackle's not an easy position to come in and dominate from day one. Uh, not that he's dominating, but he's, he's playing solidly and, you know, doing what he's supposed to be doing. How much does he look like his, his brother? I mean, obviously you were here with Ken when he was here. Yeah, you know, they're both uh, big athletes, and they both both can move. So, you know, they're similar. I'd say Marlon's pretty explosive, too. So, you know, he's got some uh, good tools to work with.